people so judgmental or why do they come across as so judgmental i don't know you know, you know, know this idea. is what we're here to talk about so let's get it in can i, can Cole, I please Thank you, you now have the stage okay listen in the church in the church it's supposed to be a place where we uplift people and we try to grow with god so what i don't understand is how are people that's in the hierarchy of the church or the clergy always pointing down at beginning Christian, young Christians who are young in their in their path, young in their walk, and always telling them, you can't do this, you can't do that, what you do is this, time out, stop. Right there, as soon as I hear that, it goes in this ear and out the other, straight up. You got to find a new approach. Find a new approach to present the information you want to present to these young people and explain to them why what they're doing is wrong or why it's not walking with God. And that's all basically it to me, for me. What you think about this, bro? Mine's pretty simple. We're not perfect. Which if we're not perfect, guess what? That means that you're not perfect. So by you judging us, that's going to give us a bad taste in our mouth when it comes to your religion, whatever it may be. Because we're not coming at any particular one. If you come at me sideways, I'm going to come at you sideways. That's just point blank and simple. I mean, it's like for me, I feel like whenever you go to the mall, to the club, or listen to a certain type of music, they got something to say. Perfect. You know, oh, why are you sitting there judging me? Just because I listen to Tupac or Snoop Dogg doesn't mean I'm going to go join Thug Life or I'm going to go <laughs> shoot somebody. Man. So just because I'm listening to a certain type of music that takes me back in the day doesn't mean that I'm going to live my life that way. Right. It's just entertainment, y'all. You guys are taking it too serious. You guys are worried about what other people do. Worry about yourself. People like Jesse Jackson, they got kids outside of marriage. They got babies on the side and stuff like that, women on the side. Man. Even Martin Luther King Jr., Everybody don't know about that, but he had all types of women on the side. Came out later. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just because you're a religious person doesn't mean you're perfect. None of us are perfect. And I'm not here to judge anybody, but please stop judging me. That's and, pretty and, and it's it, it, it basically goes down like this. Jesus himself even surrounded himself by sinners because guess what? If we want to save somebody, we can't save the people that are already saved. They're there already. We need to save more souls if we're going to go that road. Yeah, and we're, going to, we're going to expand. We're going to go to the places that supposedly all these, these sinners go, and we're going to talk to them. We're going to talk to the youth like Tobe bring said, and we're going to bring them in. But it's the way that we bring them in. You can't talk to, to everybody from kids to adults like, you know, we don't have any common sense. You know, you have some lost souls. We know that. So if you're going to come across and say, I want to save these souls, come at it with a different approach. That's all we're saying. We're not saying stop what you do. We're not saying that. We're just saying come with a different approach. So, I think we all got it in. Yes, sir. Let us know what you think. Let us know where you're coming from. Once again, I'm your host, Jay. Franklin, Ike Love. It's your boy, Jay Toe. Let's get it in. <laughs> 